Hello, this is Dare Tebers, and this is your Euro Truck Simulator 2 Mod Spotlight. We've gotten rid of our American truck only because, uh, well, I time traveled, really. Um, I, I got it so I could travel. I got this new truck and told my old truck so I could travel all the way across the country to get to this particular trailer that we're doing today. We need to get on the road because we're actually two hours and 50 minutes away from where our trailer is, and we have two hours and 45 minutes to pick up our trailer. So we're going to make that drive. And, um, yeah, hopefully I'll be there. I'm not going to make you watch. My, well, maybe I'll make I'll let you watch my drive because what we have to drive is relatively short. So let's get on the road here. Our brand new Renault. So we're in Dusseldorf and we're heading to Liege. Which is in Brussels. Well, not Brussels, in Belgium. Duh. Okay, look at this. Perfect timing. Green light. Alright. Go, little dude. Both of you little dudes. Come on. Thank you. Oh, the turning so much different from the uh, American trucks. I'm way out of my green zone there. I didn't even look. I just assumed that nobody would be coming. Yeah, so we got a we got a book, and hopefully we'll be able to get to Liege and into our location on time and grab our trailer. The trailer we have is it, it, it's actually ported into this game from Scania Truck Driving Simulator, so it is an SCS trailer it just wasn't put in this game really people um, it just wasn't put in this game for reasons I don't know so the mod author felt that they liked this trailer and that they would just bring it in and I think that's a great decision on their part Let's see if I can make this fit no oh well uh, <laughs> But uh, I, I think that's great to, you know, SCS, they only have so much, so many people, so much, so many resources. And so they don't always, they can't always uh, bring everything in that, that maybe they want to, or, or maybe they had a good reason and we're about to find out when we get up here. Oh, crap. Hold on. That's going to hurt. Yeah. All right. Well, 5% damage is not bad. We had 40% damage by... The, oh, speaking of things that are going to be bad. Here we go. Nobody saw that. I'm free and clear. <laughs> so this is why I let you guys come along, because um, these kind of drives, when I'm literally sprinting to another city to pick up a trailer, are the worst. Um, usually I don't ever do this when I'm when I'm playing off screen I don't ever go to another city it's like I will take whatever you have in this city if it is the only trailer in the entire city that's the trailer I take um, and often I just try to stay at the same yard and I'm just like I'm, I'll just take whatever you got just give me give me whatever you got uh, but in this case I actually need a specific trailer so it does force me to go on a little speed run here um, it's not that we have the biggest engine I think I put the 400 in this one 420 maybe I didn't take the top of the line I, I took the uh, uh, mid-range engine in this grundle and then I just dumped all the guff like mirrors on the front mirrors on the side sun visor I just dumped it all so just to make it as cheap as possible we're probably not going to keep this truck in fact doubt we're going to keep this truck very long at all just for this run probably and maybe one more um, that I'll do off screen but uh, yeah so there was really no reason not to uh, just make it as cheap as possible I even dump the side skirts off of it just to make it cheap alright nice 145 kilometers an hour yeah I will take speeding tickets I will do whatever it takes we just have to get this trailer I don't think we're gonna have a problem, honestly, based on the, uh, the time here. Then traffic build up here, but that's 
deal with that in just a second. I saw you pop in there, truck. Ugh. Rats. Did I have to take the No, I didn't. I shouldn't have taken this exit. Crap on a cracker. Um... Dude, backing up here. Bugger off. Okay. Yeah, 7% damage. Thanks. All right. Everyone, hold on. We're going to do something stupid. <laughs> All of you are like, yeah. And what part of this wasn't qualifying as doing something stupid? This is where I want a handbrake, by the way. Hello, everybody. Just uh, don't mind me. Just, uh, yeah, hit your brakes, idiot. One, two, all right. Dude, seriously? Dude. Dude! <laughs> These people. Okay, there. Back on the road again. We have 58 minutes. Oh, no. Well, there's 58 minutes, according to that. I don't know how much time is left in the trailer. I'm just going to ignore all of that and just floor it. By the way, don't ever try what I just did at home. <laughs> hey, boss. Don't try to pass me, boss. I will pass you. See? Told you. Ah, pity a foo. All right. All right, I think we're closing on speed fast enough. I think we'll make our trailer. Thank you, car, for passing in an expedited manner. That is appreciated. Well, now you people are all gonna slow down, really? I guess they're not. Uh, he just hit his brakes because he felt like it. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Yeah, we're just going to scrub our tires a little bit. Is this our exit? Looks like it is. Oh, we're going to the industrial district of Liege. All right. Done this once or twice. Let's just pass these people because they're slow. Okay. Oh, crap. Hold on. Sorry. Whoa, let's not hit that. That's going to hurt. Okay. Everyone's still here? Everyone's still alive? Hope so. Ah, we made it. I think, I hope. This is where I made a delivery of an oversized load. One time. I think I screamed at people. Perfect. It is here. Stop. All right. So it is the concrete trailer. Now you might say, well, they already have this in the game. Well, that is to some degree true. Hold on, let's go into, let's go into here. Um, to some degree, you're sort of right. If I go to, oh, I looked it up. It was, I think, Rotterdam? No, um, Ville, cement. So they had cement in the game. We're running concrete. The differences are minor. What I like is that this is actually an animated trailer. Let's uh, go ahead and take the job so we don't lose the job. How much time do we have left? Oh, we got here with 28 minutes to spare. Yeah, buddy. All right, so see it sitting over there with the drum rolling. That's actually really cool. Really cool, actually. All right, let's... Uh, Turn that off. Let's turn off. Thank you. Right. Yeah, 
and go. Let's pull out a little bit so we can look at our trailer. Okay, stop. All right, let's turn that off and turn those off. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh my goodness, it looks like with this, it looks like a, a single truck. Is that not awesome? I actually, look, I actually picked the right color for my Renault. So that's really cool. Really nice looking. Yeah. Cool. All right, let's put that on, that on. All right, to wherever we're going. I don't even remember where we're going. Now it is a 24 ton load. And these people are stupid. Come on, let me, let me out. So it is a heavy load. Now, <laughs> some people have a lot of problems with the, um, the trailers that are, are short because they, the, the physical trailer itself is normal length. It just has a long arm that comes out the front. Um, none of those ones are a good example. Most of you guys know what I'm talking about, where it's got like a, uh, like the wood pulp trailers often are like that. This one looks a little bit better in terms of centering weight, because that drum is pretty much over your rear axle. So that's, uh, I think that's going to be good for stability. Dude, that red car had a freaking death wish. All right. So we are heading to wherever we're going. I didn't even pay attention to where we're going. Um, and we are going to uh, hopefully not destroy our concrete. I almost called it cement. No, cement's the in-game stuff. This is concrete. Dude, I'd appreciate you to pull a little bit farther forward. Come on, you can do it. Dude, there is space between you and the car in front of you. Move forward. Man. These drivers. What is your major malfunction, dude? I'm about to do something illegal. Because I haven't done anything illegal up to this point. Oh, goodness. All right, that's it. These people are just insane. Someone's going to turn here in a second and come right down the lane I'm coming up. Nope. Okay, good. All right. Uh, third gear. Look at that. We made it. We didn't cause any damage. And we avoided the traffic jam. <laughs> Uh, all right, it's a little bit different with this engine. It's not nearly as strong as the, uh, as the other trucks I've been driving. Oops. <laughs> oh, well. All right, so we're heading towards the port to catch the ferry up to somewhere in the UK. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so she is going to want to tip a little bit. That actually would make sense. So treat this trailer as you would treat any other short trailer, really. Which you should do anyway. I think it's really cool back there. Spinning away. Yeah, awesome. Okay, my guy is well rested. We have a 22 hour drive. Somehow I don't think so. Oh, we have to take the ferry. Okay, got it. Okay, I am not gonna idle along at 90. We're just going to go ahead and push it. Um, obviously, this could be could end badly because of this, because it will tip. But I'm going to endeavor to be sort of intelligent about it. Um, I think it's a relatively short drive from Liege to wherever we're going. I don't know where we'd be going. Where would we be going? Where are we sailing out of? I would think Amsterdam or Rotterdam. Hmm. I 
don't know. I could look at the map. But we'll just go and find out. How about that? All right. Yeah, it's so cool. You look in the mirror and the thing's just rotating back there. I mean, that's a small little attention to detail that really, I think, really makes a difference. Yeah. The weight is probably commiserate with what you would expect in something like this. The one thing I would say is it shouldn't be... It should be an urgent delivery. It should be like in the, the, the three red bar thing. Um, you guys know what I'm talking about. The, the one where you, you have a really narrow delivery window on. Um, and you really have to hit it like perfect. Because it's cement. Concrete. Whatever. Um, it's going to dry in there if, if you don't deliver it in a certain amount of time. So kind of expect to always see it as a urgent delivery or priority delivery but I don't know yeah I would I guess that would make more sense to me to, to see it as one of those jeez let's push the truck a little bit there we go all right, so Amsterdam is where we're heading. Excellent. Yeah. Look at that. Nice looking rig, nice looking trailer. Yeah. <laughs> Every time I do that, oh well. How's the trailer? Trailer is fine. Truck is not. That's good. As long as we can keep the damage low enough that I don't feel that stupid engine stall crap. That would be... That would be ideal. Let's downshift a little bit. Let's see if we can get some speed going here. Alright, alright. I'll get in the other lane, people. Good grief. Shouldn't be too far from Amsterdam. I'm thinking about it. Yeah, I've taken a. Have I taken a train to Liege? No, I've gotten on a. I've been on a train that. If I stayed on the train, I would have gone to Liege. I think. I don't remember. All right. So, again, another one of those. You know, some mods are big mods. Some mods are are like game changing mods and and those kind of mods i think are like the railroad the railway mod um the oversized load mod if it was done a little bit differently i think as it stands the oversized load mod is just an exercise in frustration but i think if it was done differently meaning the unit was solid the whole way through and the weight was was equal to what you were hauling um, i think the oversized load mod would fall into the category of game changing um, this isn't one of those <sighs> hold on yeah that was nice alright what did we do 4% good <sighs> I saw it coming and I was just like oh there's nothing I can do about it so yeah once it, once it starts to go you're screwed <laughs> Uh, but yeah, there's game changing mods and, and those to me are mods like, like the railway mod that really, really cause you to have to drive differently and behave completely differently on the road and game changing trucks. Um, that stupid Scania with a thousand horsepower is game changing and game breaking at the same time, probably, um, and a lot of the American trucks are game changing because they change the way you have to drive. You drive very differently when you're driving an American truck. You got a big nose, you have a very long wheelbase. Um, all things you don't really have to deal with with the um, European trucks. Then there's mods like this that are very small, very specific. Man, they're well done looking back there. I mean, it's just derping along. It would be really cool is if they um, 
the author painted it instead of straight lines and made it like made the lines go sort of around the, the thing so it became a spiral so you'd look in the back and it looks like a spiral tail coming off the back of your truck that would be awesome Why does this have to turn more than it needs to? Stupid road. Okay, now we gotta watch ourselves because we've gone over 90 kph. Oh, really? Go away with your engine malfunction crap. <laughs> uh. I wish there was a service, I wish they had service stations on the side of the road instead of just going into cities. I mean, we have that here where, you know, semi's going down the road and they need to do some service. They just pull over and it's not in the city. It's right by the interstate or motorway, as you guys would call it. I wish they had that here. That would be awesome. Slower down. A nice gentle curve. I remember this curve. I've taken this curve many times at insane speeds on bobtailing American trucks. <laughs> I think this was, in fact, the road I came flying down at 150 kph in the in the. Whoa. Okay, you don't like going 80 on that turn. Seriously. I'm trying to turn the wheel ever so gently just to keep it. You know all sorted out and stuff. Give you 11th gear. You can have 11th gear. All right, now we're going over 90, but whatever. We'll have to slow down for this. Okay, that's all right, though. Do that. We can do this. be less dangerous. Yeah, see? You can take that truck. I don't know why you freaked out last time. Let's pass this guy. I guess the road. Geez. Oh my goodness. So the road. Yeah, engine malfunction. You think. Just shut up and run. 7%. Nice. Um, the road is not nearly as smooth when it transitions as it probably should be. I'm going to blame it on the road. Because I thought I was going at a pretty okay clip. Ugh. Oh, stop that noise. All right, so we're going 50, and we're letting the... Yep, I feel it lifting again. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't want to go speed limit. All right, fine. There. Okay. We're around the corner. Everybody happy? Good. All right, let's go. What's well, a little damage, right? Right. I guess it's, I don't know, the, the, the change in certain cambers of the road, so, or not cambers of the road, but, but certain radii of the turn it's such that it throws you off and you have to do a little bit increase in the steering and that little increase in steering throws your truck off. Like right now I'm going 75. I would expect that 75 kph that this turn would not be a problem, but I have a feeling that if I snatch the wheel in any way, shape or form, the truck would just be going over. Okay, we're coming into a long turn. And my engine's gonna go. Stupid engine. Huh. 
Huh. Yeah, maybe I should turn the speed limiters back on more, but I don't think the speed limiters would have helped me on any of those wrecks. I think I was under 90 on most of them. I might have been over on, a, on one of those with the trailer. Twelfth gear, kind of lope it a little bit. Just now going to hit 90 kph. And I can actually feather the throttle lever so slightly. So this is a 100 kph corner. You watch. This is not going to be a 100 kph corner. No, it's not. It's not. Whoa, whoa, what the? Get out of the way, you idiot. What was that all about? <sighs> okay, well, whatever. <laughs> I was being careful. I'm trying to take that corner so gently at 90. Oh, yeah, speeding offense. Thanks, thanks. That's what I have drivers for. They pay my fines for me. But even at sub-90, I couldn't make that turn. Just, I don't get it. Some of you are going to say, well, that's because you're driving like an idiot. Well, I mean, yes, I'm doing stuff like this. Which could be classified as driving like an idiot, and I'm fine with that particular classification there, but... We're going to, it, how do you pronounce, I-J-M-U-I, what? Ijuiden, Ijmuiden, hold on, gotta slow down, Ijmuiden, that's what I'm going with, Ijmuiden. Hold on, 40 is too much for this truck, oh, 45, 42 is okay. Oh, oh, really? Really? Ugh, fine, I'm just going to go in the intersection. Screw you guys. Screw you guys! I'll do what I want. <laughs> I thought I had it like my skin and my teeth. Clean pass, but no. Ugh. <sighs> Here. I guess I've never been to Ishmuidin. Because I see that the A8, I don't have a, uh, a thing going up there. Or maybe I've gone a different way to Ishmuidin. I don't know. It's probably not how you pronounce it. Someone's going to yell at me in the comments. We're going to U Newcastle. I guess I have been to Ishmuid and I've just not gone straight. Oh, okay. That's, that's... Okay. Oh, Ishmuid. This is Ishmuid in. Does that mean port? Probably not, but it's going to mean port now, I have decided. All right, so we've got 17 hours and 38 minutes. And then we're going to hit the ferry, and that's going to drop like a rock into something more manageable. Oh, stop. Silly, silly thing. Okay, come on. Everybody out of my way. You too. Come on, truck. Come on, truck. All right. Somebody's waiting with a train engine. That guy's waiting with no wheels. Oh, there's his wheels. Whoa. Not really? There. 
All right, so we're going from Ish Muadim to Tain. All right. Let's see if we can make it. Where are we going exactly? I don't remember where we're going. Oh, we're almost here. Wow. Cool. All right. Let's, uh, seriously. Fine. Where's my low air pressure warning light? Where is a, is there a warning? Oh, there's my air pressure. I found my air pressure gauge. <laughs> All right. Well, this is, well, we're revving. Let's, let's look at our load again. Oh, my light's on. There, there's the lights on in the load. Yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah, it's not a bad looking load. I do like it. I do like it, even if I can't drive it for crap. I do like it. And mainly I can't drive it because I'm always in a hurry. <laughs> Uh, okay, we need to drive on this side of the road. Drive on the left. Yes. All right, so 30. Slow down. So we are just an hour away from our delivery point. That's excellent. Yeah, I can even see it in my little GPS. Sweet. All right. So, while we're, while we're cruising into our delivery point here, um, I mean, it's a simple mod. Let's, let's be honest. It's not as massive as the railroad mod. It's not as interesting as a new truck. But for people who are looking for maybe that small mod that sort of adds a little bit of interest. And I like the fact that it's got the, the moving part. I think that's neat. Um, if you're looking for that, this just might be the mod for you. Um, there we go. Can I make this turn without hitting anything? I do! Yay! Oh, 30. It's in 30 miles an hour, Dare. Not kilometers. Yeah, whatever. Ugh. We're not actually going to make it up to the speed anyway, so it's really a moot point. Um, and it's a... It's a, it's a uh, small download, which is excellent. I don't understand completely how roundabouts work, so I just sort of go through them like this. Just call it a day. Um, yeah. So it's it's a good little mod. Uh, it doesn't replace anything, as far as I could understand from reading about it, which is good. Um, I like that that there's a lot of. <coughs> that there's trailers out there that don't replace anything, that instead add to the game. And I think that's excellent that, um, I mean, it just it just makes the road that you're driving so much more enjoyable when you see different loads versus always seeing the same, what is it, dozen different load types, I guess, in the, in the base game? A little bit more than that, I guess. But... There's not a huge variety. Um, adding a little mod like this, just a little bit of spice to the game, and that's cool. And it works, and it's cool because it's got the little rotation. I would, I would love to see one painted with like a spiral. That would be like epic. Okay. Some twat is going to go in that inside. Yeah, see? Look at... Stop it, you jerk. I'm trying to make a turn wide enough. Ugh. People. That's why there's a turn lane out there for trucks. All right. Let's fly down these hills. Fly down these hills, because our engine will probably die, and then we'll just coast anyway. Um, yeah. I do need to, to, to chill with the crazy driving. I know. Some of you some of you love it. Others of you hate it. I've had good runs, and then I have runs like this, where I'm just like, really? What is going on? I, I don't like short trailers as a rule. Because I don't feel like they stabilize properly back there. 
but we didn't do nearly as much damage as we've done in the past. We've only done 8%, so... <laughs> we, we haven't done too terribly bad, I guess. Uh, I, I guess that's, the, that's one way to look at it right there. Could be worse. <laughs> could be on fire. <laughs> could be worse. I could be delivering a load of concrete on fire. That would be... That would be worse, but also epic. And people would really wonder what in the world happened. It's like, how did you set the concrete on fire? Well, let me tell you a story. Uh, all right, slow down. Slow down. We'll go to 30 kilometers an hour. That sounds like a good speed to go down this hill. Nice and slow. The blinker on so everyone knows I'm going to turn. All right. Yeah, everyone knows I'm here. Good. Yep, we're good. Yay! Sort of made it. And completely botch it. Oh, I'm so ready for for uh, Omni. Uh, no, not Omni. Oculus. The Oculus on on this. I don't. I am not going to buy the Oculus Dev Kit. Um, I'm I'm going to wait till it's in production. I'm going to buy a production kit. But this game would just be awesome with an Oculus. Being able to look and look and actually see. The only downside would be I'd have to figure out what to do with my microphone. Because <laughs> my microphone is pretty static. So, yeah, I'd have to figure out how, what to do about that. But, you know, minor, minor problems. I make it through there? I made it through... Oh, no, these are average speed cameras. Ooh. All right, all right, I see what's going down here. I'm going to presume about 47, because 46, 47 seems to be a good speed. I know I can flip it over miles per hour. I just choose not to. It's just, I spend most of my time in the Europe side, so... Yeah. And, good. All right, so we go round a roundabout and we make our delivery. Sweet. <laughs> and we've knackered up our transmission. Well, you know, happens. Go, and then we're turning in here. Oh yeah, looks like we are turning here. Okay, makes sense. Yeah, that does make, it makes a heck of a lot of sense now that I see what yard I'm going into. All right, we'll all go ahead and pack it in because we need the points. Presuming that the engine doesn't crap out every five feet. Okay, stop. Put her in reverse. Oh yeah, yay. There, okay, she's coming back. All right, good. <laughs> it's a serpentine. <laughs> ah, for a Logitech wheel. Oh, uh, for a Logitech wheel. Really? Come on, trigger. There. Stop. T. Satisfactory. I'll take that. There we go. All right. So there we go. That was the uh, concrete trailer mod with the spinning drum. That was, I, I like that as a neat little mod. I've been Derek Tebbers. This has been your Euro Truck Simulator 2 Mod Spotlight. The link is down below to the uh, concrete trailer. Till next time, happy trucking.